Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this frame using slope deflection method. Before analyzing, let us see the frame one time. In this frame, there are two columns, column AB and column DC. Also, there is a beam BC. In the columns, there are no loads. In the beam BC, there is an eccentric point load 18 kN acting at a distance of 2 m from the point B. The length of the columns is 4 m. Length of the beam BC is 6 m. The moment of inertia for the columns is given as 3i. The moment of inertia for the beam is given as 1.5i. Now let us find the kinematic indeterminacy of the frame. This frame is a sway type frame because in the beam BC there is an eccentric point load 18 kN. Since this point load is not acting in the center, there will be sway. Only the columns are affected due to the sway. Let us assume that the columns AB and DC are subjected to sway towards the right side. In this frame, there are two joints, joint B and joint C. In these joints only, the columns and beam are connected. In these joints, there will be slope. In the joint B, we have the slope theta B and in the joint C, we have the slope theta C. So, the kinematic indeterminacy of the frame is 3. We have the slope theta B, slope theta C and the sway delta. Now, let us find the fixed end moments in the columns A, B and DC, there are no loads. So, the fixed end moments M of AB, M of BA, M of CD and M of DC will be 0. Now, let us find the fixed end moments in the beam BC. In the beam BC, there is an eccentric point load 18 kN. The formulas to find the fixed end moments are minus WAB square upon L square and positive WA square B upon L square. Here W is 18, A is 2, B is 4, L is 6. When we apply the values inside the formulas, we are getting M of BC and M of CB. Now, let us make the slope deflection equations. First, let us make them in the column AB. The column AB is subjected to sway. So, in the slope deflection equations, we have to add the moment due to sway. 6 Ea delta upon L square. The sway occurs towards the right side. If the sway occurs towards the right side, the moment due to sway will be negative. Let us apply the values in the equations. The fixed end moments are 0. Length of the column AB is 4 meter. Let us apply that. The moment of inertia for AB is 3i. So instead of i, we have to apply 3i. In the point A, there is a fixed support. In the fixed support, there will be no slope. 
so theta a will be zero the moment due to sway will be same in both of the equations so for mba no need to find that we can simply apply this value here no need to find again and again finally in the column ab we have made two equations now let us make the slope deflection equations in the beam bc in the equations first let us apply the fixed end moments length of bc is 6 let us apply that the moment of inertia for bc is 1.5 i so instead of i we have to apply 1.5 i finally in the beam bc we have made two equations now let us make the slope deflection equations in the column cd the column cd is subjected to sway so in the slope deflection equations we have to add the moments due to sway since the sway occurs towards the right side the moment due to sway will be negative let us apply the values in the equations the fixed end moments are zero length of cd is four meter let us apply that the moment of inertia for cd is 3i so instead of i we have to apply 3i in the point d there is a fixed support in the fixed support there will be no slope so theta d will be zero the moment due to sway will be same for both of the equations so we can simply apply this value here no need to calculate again for mdc finally in the column cd we have made two equations now let us make the joint equilibrium equations in the joint b there are two moments mba and mbc when we add both of them it will be zero we have already made the slope deflection equations for mba and mbc let us apply them and then let us add them then let us keep the numerical on the right side let us keep this equation as number seven similarly in the joint c there are two moments mcb and mcd when we add them it will be zero we have already made the slope deflection equations for mcb and mcd let us apply them then let us add them and then let us keep the numerical on the right side let us keep this equation as number eight in this analysis we have three unknowns but we have only two equations so we have to make one more equation let us see how to make that let us take the column a b here we are going to find the horizontal reaction h a in this process we have to always assume that both of the moments MAB and MBA are acting in the clockwise direction. You can see that both of them are acting in the clockwise direction. Let us take moment about to B. When we do that, we are moving towards right hand direction. Clockwise will be positive and anti clockwise will be negative. HA is acting in the anti clockwise direction so it will be negative and the distance is 4 so minus 4 HA 
the moments are acting in the clockwise direction so both of them will be positive finally we are getting ha which is equal to mab plus mba upon 4 now let us take the column cd here we are going to find the horizontal reaction hd here also we have to assume both of the movements mtc and mcd are acting in the clockwise direction you can see that both of them are acting in the clockwise direction now let us take movement about c in this case we are moving towards left hand side clockwise will be negative and anti clockwise will be positive the horizontal reaction hd is acting in the anti clockwise direction so it will be positive and the distance is 4 so 4 hd both of the movements are acting in the clockwise direction so both of them will be negative finally we are getting hd which is equal to mcd plus mdc upon 4 now let us apply the rule sigma h is equal to 0 in the columns a b and d c there are no horizontal loads so we have only the horizontal reactions h a and h d when we add both of them it will be 0 for ha and hd just before we have made the expressions let us apply them here we have the common denominator 4 let us take it on the right side 4 into 0 we will get 0 this equation is called the shear equation for MAB, MBA, MCD and MDC, we have made the slope deflection equations. Let us apply them and then add them. After adding, we are getting this equation. Let us keep this equation as number 9. Now, we have 3 equations, 7th one, 8th one and 9th one. We can use calculator and solve these three equations. If you do not know how to solve three equations in the calculator, see the description below. There is a link. You can click the link and watch the video. I have used the calculator and got the values of Ea theta b, Ea theta c and Ea delta. When we apply the values of Ea theta b and Ea delta in the equation number 1, we are getting Mab. When we apply the values of Ea theta b and Ea delta in equation number 2, we are getting Mba. When we apply the values of Ea theta b and Ea theta c in the equation number 3, we are getting Mbc. When we apply the values of Ea theta b and Ea theta c, in the equation number 4, we are getting MCB. When we apply the values of Ea theta c and Ea delta in the equation number 5, we are getting MCD. Finally, when we apply the values of Ea theta c and Ea delta in the equation number 6, we are getting MDC. In this analysis, we have calculated all of the movements. For MAB, we got a positive value that means it is acting in the clockwise direction for mba we got a positive value that means it is also acting in the clockwise direction for mbc we got a negative value that means it is acting in the anti clockwise direction for mcp we got a positive value that means it is acting in the clockwise direction. For MCD, we got a negative value. That means it is acting in the anti-clockwise direction. Finally, for MDC, we got a negative value. 
that means it is also acting in the anti-clockwise direction. Now let us find the reactions. First let us take the column AB and find the reactions. By taking moment about B, we can find HEA and then applying the rule sigma H is equal to 0, we can find out HB. Now let us take the span BC and find the reactions. By taking moment about C, we can find out BB. Then applying the rule sigma V is equal to 0, we can find VC. Now let us take the column CD and find the reactions. By taking moment about D, we can find HC. By applying the rule sigma H is equal to 0, we can find out HD. Here you can see the shear force diagram. Here you can see the free movement diagram. Here you can see the end movement diagram. Using the direction of the movements, we have to make this diagram. Here you can see the bending movement diagram. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.